Greetings, everyone. This is Matt Faiello, Technical Marketing Engineer with the Cisco Compute BU, and we're back with the Intersight Managed Mode Expert Series, uh, this time talking about uh, a domain uh, policy, the link aggregation policy. So uh, we're going to cover a few slides here to talk about this policy in detail, and then uh, go to a quick demo. Okay, let's talk a minute about link aggregation. Uh, as the name includes the word aggregate, uh, we're combining things. So that should lead you to thinking of port channels. We're combining individual ports into a big pipe. Uh, and that's exactly where we will use this policy. It's uh, on uplink port channels. Um, you know, on a network switch, when you're uplinking to the next hop, uh, next layer switch, um, you can configure static port channels, but it's better to use uh, a protocol, uh, LACP, uh, link aggregation control protocol um, within that port channel because it ensures a faster um, failure detection of a given link. Um, and most uh, best practice designs, uh, you're actually uplinking uh, across a cluster of switches, like two switches. Um, so you could actually lose an entire uplink switch and still maintain connectivity. Okay, so let's talk about link aggregation in context of the unified computing system. So you have your fabric interconnects, and they're in in-host mode. Um, the port channels uh, for uplink, they're always uh, in LACP-enabled mode. Uh, there's no configuration. That's just how the FI uplinks work for port channels. Um, and if you have an uplink switch, uh, next hop switch that's configured for LACP, then that LACP uh, port channel will will um, will auto configure. Um, there is no FI policy per se for static port channels. Okay, but of course, if the uplink switch is not configured for LACP it does have a static port channel, then that port channel will still form. Uh, it's just the LACP uh, packets will be stripped off. Um, the purpose of the policy is the link aggregation policy doesn't enable or disable LACP. It just gives you control on mandating the action if a member port loses LACP PDUs, if, it, if those PDUs disappear, okay, you have the ability to suspend that port, okay? And then you can also dictate the rate uh, that that checking is taking place. So for instance, in a normal rate, um, an LACP packet is being sent uh, every 30 seconds. Uh, and if you lose three of those, that's when a timeout occurs or a possible port suspension. If you click the fast rate in the policy, then you're sending an LACP packet every one second. And then, of course, a three-second uh, time period would be three drops, and that's when uh, uh, a possible suspension of the port would occur. Now, in terms of where in intersite managed mode is the link aggregation policy used, um, as we've talked, it's used on uplink port channels. So within the UCS domain profile policy, you have a port policy. And when you go to configure that port policy for port channel uplinks, and those uplinks can be Ethernet, fiber channel over Ethernet, or appliance, then you're going to see the option when you can create that or configure that port channel um, to attach the uh, link aggregation policy. As far as recommendations, um, you probably ought to consult the, the upstream network administrator. Um, in the absence of any guidance, <clears throat> probably just keep the defaults, which is false on the suspension of ports and normal um, uh, rate of sending uh, LACP PDUs. Um, basically, with that policy, you're saying uh, you're, you're, you're telling the FI to not suspend ports. Okay, but I will also say that the next hop switch with LS, LACP enabled, um, that's going to dictate whether the port gets suspended or not with the loss. Okay, so the control, basically the control is going to be um, at the next hop switch. Um, in, in relation to this, the majority of UCS 
uh, fabric interconnects are configured in Ethernet in-host mode. So, uh, and the majority of switches that you would interface with, for instance, a Nexus 9K, um, they have that behavior of being able to suspend member ports of a port channel um, if they don't receive the PDUs uh, in a given time frame. So you're just basically letting uh, the upstream switch control this behavior. Okay, so as far as CLI output verification, uh, you can secure shell into the Fabric Interconnect, connect to NXOS, and do a show port channel summary. Um, that's going to tell you if that port channel is uh, configured for LACP. And then if you want to see uh, additional detail, you could go into um, <clears throat> the NXOS and do a show run interface port channel uh, and then the number. And you can see uh, more details about that port channel. And you can see in this case here uh, via the policy that we have uh, no LACP suspend uh, individual member ports. Okay, so that was uh, uh, directly uh, a function of the aggregation policy that I pushed down as part of the port policy. Okay, ultimately the domain profile. Okay, and before we go to a short demo, um, let's just see where this policy is used from a graphical uh, standpoint uh, and, and see how it all ties together. So you have your domain profile over on the left, then you have one or more port policies. Um, I like to create fabric specific port policies. So in my configurations you'll see too. Um, that's often based on whether you're uplinking vSANs or not and if, whether those vSANs are different for the fabrics. But when you go to create uh, the Ethernet uplink port channel, and that can be a port role of Ethernet uplink port channel, fiber channel over Ethernet uh, port role, uh, or appliance port channel. Uh, any of those three, you're going to have access then to the link aggregation uh, policy. Now, you won't see that on the fiber channels, uh, obviously. So if you select uh, fiber channel, uh, port channel is the role, okay, port role, then you're not going to see the link aggregation. So hopefully this uh, this helps you understand kind of where in the flow uh, everything ties in. Okay, so here we are in Intersight, and you're going to want to make sure you're in Infrastructure Service at the top. And we're going to go down to Policies, and we're going to create a new policy. I'm selecting Domain. I want to filter out and see just my domain policies. I'm going to select link aggregation. Give it a friendly name, has to be unique. Also, uh, make mention here of your organization, uh, if it's default or if you're doing a specific org, make sure you do that in the pull down. Click next. Okay, so the first setting you see is whether you're trying to mandate LACP member ports uh, suspension based on timeouts. So you can select false or true. We're going to keep it false, the, basically the default settings. Also, the, the rate at which you're passing LACP uh, PDUs um, every 30 seconds or every second. Uh, we're going to keep that uh, as default as well. And then click Create. This concludes our video about link aggregation policy. Uh, I hope you were able to learn something new here during this video. Um, please uh, check out our other Intersight Managed Mode Expert Series videos. And with that, I appreciate your attention. Thanks.